Hello and welcome to my exercise number 10.102 from the uh, topic gases and um, first I'll read out the exercise text and then the three calculations A, B and C. Propane C3H8 liquefies under modest pressure about 10 bars allowing a large amount to be stored in the container. Under these circumstances we are calculating in A the moles of propane gas, in B the moles of liquid propane and in C the ratio of moles and we discuss this ratio. So um, continuing to A we see uh, that a uh, volume is given, a pressure is given and a temperature is given. With these um, numbers I chose as a solution the ideal gas law and converted it in step 1 after the amount of substance. As you can see we get this equation. With pressure, volume, the universal gas constant R and the temperature T. But first we need to transpose the units which means pressure P from ATM to Pascal, volume V from liter to cubic meters and the temperature from Celsius to Kelvin. Also we know the uh, gas constant and we just need to apply these values to equation 1 and we get 5.73 moles as an exa uh, as a solution for propane gas under those circumstances. Now it's liquid propane so we have volume and a density and as a solution I use the density formula um, to get the mass and then we get the amount of substance through mass and molar mass. So again we need to adjust the units in this uh, example it's the density from gram per milliliter to gram per liter which is 590 gram per liter then and the molar mass, which is three times the molar mass of C and eight times the molar mass of H, which adds up to 44 grams per mole, as you can see in this little uh, calculation. And over the um, over the part particular step with the mass which um, equals 11,800 grams um, you can get to the amount of substance uh, of liquid propane which uh, is 268 mole in this case. In C you just have to compare these two and discuss the solution. I chose to um, get a quotient between these two amounts and in the numerator it's the amount of liquid propane and in the denominator the uh, amount or the number of moles of propane gas. So we get this dimensionless number which means that a 46 times higher amount of propane can be stored in its liquid form compared to propane gas. And also this statement leads back to the main properties of these two phases. While liquids always take up the smallest volume possible, gases do the exact opposite and fill up the volume they are given. Thank you for your attention and I hope you don't uh, have any open uh, questions.